Why, hello there. Welcome. It is day number 17. I have been laid off for 17 days. Wow, that went quick. That's crazy. So lately I've been going through editing some old video that I have. We've got quite a bit of it still to go, but we're getting there. We're getting closer. But today, I went through some of these maps. I got some old Magic Kingdom maps. Um, these are all from trips that we went, that we were at uh, the Magic Kingdom in Orlando, Walt Disney World. So we're just gonna kinda go through, look at some of the differences. I unfortunately do not have a map from every visit. I wish I did, as I love these maps. Like, it's so cool to look back at them and look at the changes. Magic Kingdom did go through some changes. There's one area, one area in general went through the most. Take a look, check out some of these maps. The first map I have here, I'm just gonna kinda quick get out of the way here. This was actually, you could go on the Disney website. I'm not sure if you can still do this or not, uh, but you could go on and get a customized map for your family trip. Um, now, I didn't customize it as far as the attractions. I just listed everything like the normal map. Um, but it's kind of, I always thought that was kind of neat that you could just, you could put down the attractions you wanted. So if there were certain things that you didn't want to do, say like the Hall of Presidents right there, if uh, someone in the family didn't want to do it, you could just take it off the map. That's, that's pretty neat that you can could customize it like that. Like I said, I'm not sure if they do this anymore. Now everything's kind of done through the My Disney Experience. But this was kind of neat because they would send you it in this neat envelope. That's actually the envelope that it came in. Uh, and it's all four parks that they would do it for. So I'm just looking at the Magic Kingdom here. But this was this was back in 2009, this map. So we're not going to focus on this one too much because I do have another one. This is the 2009 map that was customized for our trip. I do love the look of it though because it's just, it looks, you know adventurous. I think you could actually customize the borders and everything too. I opted for the Mickey. Moving on. We did attend the After Hours event last year, 2019. I do not have a map for it. I didn't grab one. I They had an After Hours list. I do have a copy of it somewhere. I don't know where it is. I lost it. But this is our 2018 Not So Scary Halloween Party. This is the only map I have for 2018. It lists the treat locations, they have allergy friendly offerings that they had there, it lists the entertainment, so Mickey's Not So Scary has special shows, there's a Hocus Pocus show on there, then we open up to the actual map, you can see this special map, you see it has all the trick or treat spots on it here, all the little Mickey Halloween pumpkins, those are trick or treat spots. Right now, the biggest difference that should be added soon right in this area. I don't know if they have them on the maps yet. They are currently closed. But Tron is going to be right here. Right here. Last time we went, I saw it. I saw it with my own two eyes. They were building it. It's it's real. It's coming. It is coming. This Fantasyland when we get back to my older maps, that's going to be the biggest change that's that's the big area that changes magic kingdom you know some subtle changes here and there that one i was just showing was the clean version this one must have been the one i had in my pocket this is the this is the map i used this one was all folded up and and used up still got it next up we got these two maps I'm only going to open up one of them. I believe these are from the same trip. I think it's 2004-ish. I couldn't find a date anywhere on the map itself. It does mention on both of them about the My Disney Experience app in the App Store. So that makes me think that this was like 2004. I, I believe that would have been that trip. Would have been around 2004-ish. When you open it up here, we do have the advertisement for the My Disney Experience app. There's also Disney Parks Play. I am not familiar with that. Uh, it says, turn wait time into play time with Play Disney Parks, a mobile app that connects the parks with interactive games, trivia, achievements, and more. That sounds interesting, actually. I, I kind of would like that. Got some park highlights here. Does speak of the Memory Maker. I actually, I like Memory Maker for us. We are not locals to the park, so we don't get to visit quite, quite often. We've been going here and there, uh, but the Memory Maker is great for not local. If you're there all the time, I could see the, the not needing it, but hey, Memory Maker. Now we open her up, we open up, look at our map here. Not, 
not too much has changed generally it's it's about the same you like said I believe this is 2004 ish I, I can it is a possibility that I am mistaken however now these maps are not I don't really like the way they cut off Splash Mountain here it's cut off on the edge it's kind of kind of crammed it in there and it does speak of complimentary Wi-Fi as well. Moving on. Now we got this bad boy. This is going to be our 2009 trip, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this is it. Um, pretty sure this is it. There's actually copyright from Kodak for 2008, so that would make sense. Uh, as we open it up here, we talk about fast passes. They were still paper fast passes. Look at that. Everything's sponsored by Kodak. They got the Disney Photo Pass, so it's not Memory Maker here, it's the Photo Pass. I like this little advertisement with Timon and Pumba. Have fun in the sun, don't get overdone. That's that's good stuff. The back back of it is just a large advertisement for Kodak. Sponsorship, right there. Now, as we open it up, the placement is very different. As you can see, this one's kind of squished on the left there. This one, it's large semi-centered they did not cut off Splash Mountain I love it I love it again reference we're gonna go up to this one look at it was just cut off the side of the page there that's that's awful poor Splash Mountain it's a great ride why cut it off now the biggest change here we're gonna see right up here Fantasyland where new Fantasyland was sorry I keep getting shadow on there where new Fantasyland was you can see up here it's Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. It's Pooh's playful spot. Dumbo still in the original position there. Quite a bit, quite a bit changed here. Mickey's Toontown Fair is still there. That's that's where all the action's going on in this park is Fantasyland. That's that's where the majority of changes have taken place. Move it, shake it, celebrate it. Street party. Now we got this bad boy. This is the the oldest actual guide map that I own. Wasn't the first trip, but it is the first guide map that I actually have possession of. This one, it's got dated right on the top here. So we got October 16th to the 22nd of the year 2000. Magic Kingdom. We got Winnie the Pooh on the front there. Compliments of Kodak. More Kodak sponsorship. Let's flip this one around. And of course, right on the back, we got another Kodak advertisement. This, disposable cameras. Check that out. Actual Kodak film. You don't see that anymore. In park film developing. So they would actually develop your uh, photos right in the park there. As we flip it inside, we got some tips and information. Shows you where guest relations are, talks about baby, changing stations, lockers, kennels, it's different travel tips, AAA hospitality desk located on Main Street, please recycle. And again, disposable cameras, Disney disposable cameras. I bet those things were, uh, had a hefty little price tag on them, I bet. As we flip it open, this map is much larger. Actually shows different events. We got the Parades, Fantasy in the Sky, Main Street Electrical Parade, new Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. And the size difference compared to the newer maps is incredible. Look at that. You could fit that map in just the map section of this map. So first, right away, we're going to jump right up to new Fantasyland. Because as you can see... There is no new Fantasyland. The lagoon is still there from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The ride is not, however. At this point, 20,000 Leagues had been closed for quite some time. But the lagoon is still there. You can see there's uh, King Triton in there and some Little Mermaid references that were added. The grotto is not there yet. I don't think. Let's see. That would be... I'm sorry. The grotto is there already. That small little area is the grotto. Yeah, Mickey's Toontown. This is where we kind of get in. The rest of the map is is fairly similar looking. This was 2000, remember. 
and it's pretty pretty identical you know what I didn't think about magic carpets of Aladdin that's not here then if we jump up to this map right there we can see the magic carpet right up next to the tiki room and if we jump back down to our 2000 map no carpets not much of anything I'm walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. Now this one's interesting. This isn't really a map of the parks, but this is actually a MapQuest printout of when we went in 2009. At that point, we actually lived in North Carolina. We drove to Disney World in 2009. Uh, typically, we will fly. We're in Pennsylvania now, so it's a little bit of a longer drive. Um, but these are my MapQuest printed directions right here on the bottom Printed on 9 14 2009 that's kind of neat that I still have that so not a fantastic fantastic collection But it's some of them I have I feel like I possibly may even have some more just not filed together where they should be That being said there actually is one more I have. The last one I have isn't technically a map. Uh, it's more of a souvenir. I actually got it my first trip. My first trip was 1994, but we got to go upstairs to see that one because I, I like that one. That one I actually have displayed. So we will go visit that one right now. Don't mind my basement stairs. They're being worked on. I haven't finished them yet. Ugh. Don't worry. Don't look at all that. Supplies! Supplies! Now I have to be kind of quiet because the wife's sleeping. But look at this gem. 1994. This is the Walt Disney World Resort in 1994. I was pretty young when I got this. Still have it. Framed it. Got it up on the dining room wall along with some attraction posters. Now again, not really a map per se. It is a map, but it's like a cartoonish map. It has characters all over the place. Our focus was on the Magic Kingdom. There we are. It is missing Main Street. I can't walk down the middle. But we got Cinderella's Castle. Big Thunder, it's kind of out of place a little bit, but Big Thunder, Splash Mountain. Got the Haunted Mansion. What is the Cheshire Cat doing there? Alice is looking for him. And there's our 20,000 Leagues Lagoon. The Rocketeers. Space Mountain. Pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this day number 17, little, little reminiscing tour of the Magic Kingdom. Some guide maps. If you did, please hit subscribe. It'll help me out. Hit the like button. Do all that cool stuff. Until next time, be good, have fun, and learn something.